and welcome back to a brand new vlog. We are headed into the first day of work and it is a professional development day. This one is really special because it is specifically an invite to a training slash appreciation and self-care day for the responders, the mental health providers, social workers, counselors, psychologists that responded to the horrible tragedy in Uvalde, which is honestly just feels like my community. I'm just a few hours away from Uvalde, so it feels scary. I'm not gonna lie, as a parent myself, I, I don't know what to expect as a social worker in schools. I, I feel like there's gonna be so much anxiety between staff, students, parents, and I know that I'm holding space for all of that. So um, it's daunting. It's incredibly anxiety provoking right now for me. I am that many days away from the first day of school. So it's like ready or not, but I'm hoping that I can get grounded today and get some great insights and feedback. And um, I'm gonna jump in already because I know this intro is taking long, but let's get started with our training day. This was such a lovely way to start off the training. We were asked to text someone we hadn't reached out to, someone we love. And it was really grounding and beautiful. They call them and such. Think about that. And some of you are like, I don't need nobody to help me. And that's fine. But help yourself. I want to share these signs of stress as they impact the body, mind, behavior, and emotions. This is a great way to ensure that we are ready and able to do the work. It is not easy to do that when we ourselves are showing major signs of stress. And if you're noticing any of these, please, please take care of yourself. show you what's in my bag of goodies we did get some goodies all around grief support so I'll show you what's in the bag once I get home we had two trainings one on self-care and one on what's the second one on oh one on mindfulness and one on self-care uh, very vibrant beautiful speakers I think the best part was being able to connect again with some of the counselors social workers LPCs um, therapists that I met with when I was actually over there it's really nice to see their faces there's this community of beautiful mental health professionals out there doing what I do I can't express how important that is, at least for my self-care and my burnout prevention, to know that I'm not alone in this work and to know that like there's kindred spirits out there doing what I do and I'm not the only one. I have to continue to tell myself that. Let's get home so I can show you what is in this goodie bag. I will be adding all of these resources that I received to my crisis intervention toolbox. And I do recommend that every school social worker and school counselor have a toolbox so that if there ever is a crisis that you need to respond to, you know exactly where to direct anyone that may be coming on campus to support students, faculty. And I would load that box up with things just like this. This is almost the same as a journal, only it's geared a little more towards your elementary, maybe younger middle school age students. And there's a bunch of activities in there. I love the artwork as well. It's just very, very beautiful.
feel free to make photocopies and keep them in the box with the crayons, markers, color pencils. This one as well is for older students. So if you work in secondary, middle school, or high school, I would definitely have one of these for mindful coloring. We also received some glitter putty and I never thought of adding this into my crisis intervention box. It's definitely a tool that I've used. I just love that this is very portable. I'm really wanting to add a whole bunch of them because I think this is a really tangible tool that students may want to take along with them to help soothe and comfort them and ground them when they're at home or headed back to class after any crisis. The first day of school is right around the corner. Let me know when you are starting in the comments below and I will be back very shortly with another vlog sharing what my reset routine looks like to prepare myself, mind, heart, body, soul for a new school year. And until next time, I am wishing you social work success.